Hi, my name is Eric Shanks and I'm a senior solutions architect here at AHEAD. And in this video, I want to demonstrate how you can use native AWS tools to protect your public cloud environment from unwanted configurations using AWS Config. If you've been paying attention to data breaches in the past couple of years, you'll notice that a lot of these breaches seem to be related to a service from AWS called S3. Now don't get the wrong idea here. S3 is a great service, but many times it's used incorrectly. You see, S3 is Amazon's simple storage service which allows its customers to store data at a low cost and is a fundamental service used by AWS. The reasons there are data breaches isn't because there's a problem with the service itself, but rather that the users who consume that service are misconfiguring it. You see, the S3 buckets that hold data can be made publicly accessible to house things like content for websites. Unfortunately, many times users make their data public to gain access to it easily, but if that data is publicly accessible, then anyone can read it, and if that data has personally identifiable information in it, you've got a big problem. This video will show you how AWS Config can be used to self-heal your cloud environment and protect you from unwanted configurations such as a public S3 bucket. To begin, I've already set up AWS Config, and I'm monitoring my S3 bucket resources. As you can see, I've got three buckets in total, and I'm watching one bucket specifically to ensure that it is not publicly accessible, because that's where my important data lives. If we go over to our S3 service, we can see the buckets that exist currently, and we're in good shape. None of our buckets are publicly accessible. So now let's see what happens if we were to make one of our buckets available to the entire internet with our config rules in place we get a fairly significant warning message letting us know that the bucket will be public, but we're gonna do it anyway. We save our setting and notice that we get some yellow warning messages showing us that our bucket is indeed publicly accessible, meaning that anyone with internet access can read our data stored in this bucket. Let's go back to the AWS config service and see what's happening now. Since we just made the change, AWS config still sees things as compliant. It does take a little bit before the changes to the environment have been recorded by the service. But after a few minutes, you'll see that we have a non-compliant service. I've sped up the recording so we didn't have to wait for that process to happen. Our dashboard is red, but let's go take a look at that S3 bucket again, shall we? Wait a second. Just a moment ago, we made that bucket public, but it's now showing as not public. How did that happen? I know what you're thinking, but no, this isn't some sort of video editing trickery or sorcery. We've actually used AWS config to trigger a serverless function to go fix our bucket permissions. Let's take a look at our serverless function in the AWS Lambda service. Here you can see that we have a function named S3 Private Bucket Remediation. This is a Python script we've used to fix any buckets that should not be publicly accessible. Python script is triggered through the Amazon Simple Notification Service. SNS notifies our Lambda script to execute whenever our config rules are non-compliant. This way, whenever a bucket shows up as a non-compliant bucket, we can fix it as soon as possible and doesn't require an administrator to log in and handle it themselves. Now if we look at the CloudWatch logs, we can see that a log listed the bucket as non-compliant and our Lambda script fired to fix it. Let's look at a diagram to see how it all works together. AWS Config records configuration changes and stores them in an S3 bucket that you choose. From there, you can also have Config stream changes to an SNS topic if you're choosing. At that point, you can subscribe to the SNS topic so that you can get email alerts or have your Lambda script subscribe to the topic to take action like we did in the video. As an alternative, you could also have Amazon Simple Queue service subscribe to the topic where the message will sit in a queue for another service like AWS Lambda to pick up the message and take action. AWS Config can be used for plenty of other things in your AWS environment, but checking Amazon S3 buckets is a pretty common task with plenty of benefits. If you'd like to know more about how to build and manage your public cloud environments, stop in for a briefing from one of the AHEAD experts in public cloud. Thanks for watching.